Oh, rolling. All right. Welcome back, guys, to Vape on Reviews. Yes, I finally did get that channel up as I said I would, and I was gonna wait. Oh, by the way, my hands, I got pain on them, so you see that. That's why the lighting ain't too great here, but it, the I Taste MVP 2.0. Is what my dad brought me, and because his wife didn't really like it, she I don't guess it's more she wanted I guess wanted to stick with cigarettes, but it's got the I Clear 30 tank on it. Excuse me, and this thing is a fucking hoss, guys. All right now, but turn it on. flashing colors around there that's when you know the best thing about this thing is you can actually set the wattage which mine's on 10 right now so I'm about to actually turn that down I'm gonna put it on 7.5 Put the bottom one on. Yeah. Three point eight. And uh, down here, this can charge your phone, MP3 player, whatever. And that's when you charge it itself. And you just flip that on, flip it out. But you turn on the main e cig itself from there. And I got some new flavors that he also brought me. This is from just a local vapor bank, but it's a regular tobacco. As you guys can see right there, this is your standard shit. This is what I had inside that tank. I wanted to try it out because it smells good as shit. But strawberry banana, uh, watermelon cooler, and crimson and cream. They all smell fantastic, guys. I've but this thing, I tried it out yesterday and I love it. And I'm going to try this banana and see how well it goes. Yeah. Um, I actually just cleaned out the wigs, the coil itself, because it was covered with regular tobacco and where she added watermelon to it. I don't know why, but I did a pretty good job, I'd say, with cleaning with it because it, I got that, that taste. I'm actually going to turn it up a little bit. Put the U on 4.0 and put the, I put the P, I put the P at 8.5, so yeah. And also, guys, if you ever want to check see how much battery you've got, how many puffs you've taken since it's been fully charged, you click that down. That's the resistance. That's how much the battery is left. This is 2.1, it was just 2.0. Mm -hmm. It's just popping the two since it's fully charged. I don't know why I was reading like 300 or something. I wonder why it's doing that all the way to this side. Anyway, as you can see with that fantastic body on it, it hits harder than that fire does in there. I'm absolutely in love with it. My dad paid over a hundred some dollars for every single one of those flavors, including that with that tank, drinking the Baja Blast. Yeah, it's great. Um, the battery I read on it, it was like 2800 on it, which is fucking unreal. What it is to me for someone who just started, because, I mean, I know they got the standard batteries, like the 650s, MAHs, they got the 1000, the 1200s, the 1800s, but I've never... I mean, there's some that's even bigger than that. I mean, I've seen a video where a guy had a port for a 4,000 one, but I 
It's just unreal. I mean, you can just see from right there that body. I mean, of course, the higher up the voltage and the wattage you got, it's going to suck a lot more juice out put it in your body. But, I mean, I was flying through a three, three milliliter tank last night, to be honest with you guys, because I had that shit up on my on that X6, which, by the way, it's really not a bad product since I started using it last night. But this thing, I give it a 10 out of 10, to be honest with you, the I taste in DP 2.0. I mean, it's just. I can't seem to find nothing wrong with it. I mean, cleaning the wicks was easy. Cleaning out the coil was easy. It's easy to deal with. I like that. I like shit that's simple to fuck with. And it, it's, ba it's basic. It's simple to fuck with. It's got a great body on it. Great battery. The tank goes well with it. Which I believe you can put smaller tanks on it. But, I mean, there's, it's flawless. I mean, like I said, that strawberry banana is actually not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and give that an 8. Matter of fact, I'll be generous. I'll give it an 8.5. It wouldn't be an everyday bait, but every now and again, it wouldn't be bad. Like I said, guys, tremendous. Is, I mean, this is... I'm afraid to turn it up right now, to be honest with you guys. I'm going to put it on 9, and I'm going to put that in the voltage. Or I'm going to turn the watts at 4.5. I'm going to see how this thing kicks. Like I said, tremendous vapes off these things. They're great. It's great. I love it. I recommend it to anyone who wants, if you're willing to pay that money for it. If you have that money for it and you want to get a, a great personal vaporizer yourself, if you want to go a little bit step outside the norm, I, would, I recommend the iTaste MVP 2.0. I give it a 10 out of 10. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, strawberry banana. Like I said, 8.5. That's all I got for you guys. I'll get more videos out soon.